What's up, Boxing Land? I want to talk to you guys today about the upcoming fight in April between um, Brandon Boom Boom Rios versus Yorkis Gamboa. Um, that fight, in my opinion, is a total mismatch. I, I'm aware of how gifted Gamboa is and how fast and strong he is. However, he is a short, um, you know, 126-pound uh, fighter who has also a short reach. Uh, Brandon Reels is a huge um, lightweight, 135-pound fighter. Um, you know, people talk about him struggling weight. I think his body is maturing, but I think this time around, I, and he has been staying in the gym and in shape, um, he will not have as much of an issue making weight. Um, most people are not aware of Brandon Reels comes in fight night close, uh, over 150 pounds. So he's a humongous lightweight and a very strong one with a very, with a very strong chin. Um, we've seen Gamboa floored, you know, by guys who are not, you know, the strongest punchers at 126 pounds. And again, as good as Gamboa, as good as Gamboa is, I just don't see him doing much, uh, to Brandon Rios. Uh, he's going to have to get inside to be able to, uh, hit Rios and that's going to play into Rios' hands. Uh, Rios is going to be able to jab with him. He's going to be able to throw right hands. He's going to be able to get inside and punish him. At some point in that fight, Gamboa is going to get pushed against the ropes, and he will not be able to get out. And he'll have to fight, and, and he'll have and he'll suffer a lot of punishment. I, I see this fight um, being stopped around the seventh, maybe eighth round, uh, due to uh, um, extreme punishment on Gamboa. Um, I just, I just cannot see how a smaller guy, um, who's not only shorter but has a, a lot shorter reach, is going to be able to to be effective on on Brandon Rios. And I'll tell you guys another thing: Brandon Rios, um, you know, we see him brawl a lot, get inside and beat the shit out of people. But one thing he's not given enough credit for is his boxing skills. I mean, you know, he can jab, and when he chooses to, he can move. Um, he'd rather just stay in there and you know destroy you. But uh, if he chooses to, he can box. So, I mean, you know, he has the reach advantage, even though, the, even though that he is slower. Um, he can jab on the outside with, uh, with Gamboa. But again, in order for Gamboa to land combinations or in order for Gamboa to, to, uh, to score points and be effective, he's going to have to get inside the range of Rios. And I see Rios doing a lot of damage to him. So, I, you know, a lot of people are excited because they're going to see fireworks. They're going to see one guy get the shit beat out of him. But this is the reason why there are weight classes. You know, I, I see a huge, huge difference in size in this fight. And I think ultimately it's going to come down to that. You know, we, we, both, we all know that, that Gamboa is the more gifted athlete and the better boxer. But, you know, Rios is also a good, a tremendous athlete. And he is also a very good boxer who's also strong and not to mention Mexican. I mean, I don't know what the hell these guys eat, jalapenos or whatever. But, man, these guys' chins are, are, are amazing. Uh, we see that in boxing. Even in MMA now, we see that uh, the few Mexican fighters that are there just don't go down, don't get knocked out. So... You know, I see a total mismatch. I see Brandon Reels beating the crap out of Gamboa, and uh, and that's my take on it. Now, I'll give you my take for the reasons why this fight is happening. There were there were mentions that Gamboa was seen in Las Vegas with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Now, it could be that Gamboa's contract is set to expire with Bob Arum's top ranks promotion. And it could be that Gamboa is shopping around seeing uh, what other deals and offers there may be out there. You know, so um, it could be that Mayweather, you know, was talking to him and, and telling him to sign with him. Um, and, uh, and, you know, he could possibly also sign uh, without Heyman as a manager and get big fights. There would be a ton of fights with Golden Boy promotion that, uh, that, uh, that Gamboa could, that could possibly fight since uh, Aram doesn't, uh, didn't give him the uh, Gamboa fight. I mean, I'm sorry, the Juanma fight and doesn't seem to be interested in making that fight as well. So... You know, there were, again, rumors that Gamboa was seen with uh, Mayweather Jr. in Las Vegas. It could be that Gamboa's contract is set to expire. And it also could be that Bob Aaron may be cashing Gamboa out. You know, it could be that he knows that Gamboa may be leaving him, so he's trying to set up a, a fight. Uh, you know, he's giving him a fight with Brandon Rios so that Rios can make some good money off this fight. Because I, I heard last night um, that HBO is going to pay some good money for this fight. So, you know, 
Uh, Aram could be doing this too because I have no doubts now that uh, that Bob Aram is actually trying to make a fight between Brandon Rios and Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, you know, if, if you look at my archives, if you look at the videos I've made before at the uh, New York City Miguel Cotto Antonio Margarito 2 press conference, I, I asked Bob Aram about making that fight. I mentioned that to him. And in the video, you'll see that Aram, you know, says, oh, I never thought about that, you know, and I tell you what, he, he, he thought about it a lot after I had mentioned him the fight and given him that fight. So, you know, I believe that, that Brandon Rios will go on to face Marquez in September. I most likely believe it'll be a pay-per-view fight because by then probably HBO has blown a huge portion of their budget. Um, so it'll be a pay-per-view fight. People will tune in and pay for it on pay-per-view because it will be a tremendous fight. It will also fall um, the weekend of Mexican Independence Day, uh, being that most likely Mayweather will be in jail or and it's too soon for Mayweather to have a, another fight. So I, I definitely see uh, Rios, um, you know, fighting Marquez uh, in September. So I think this fight is, um, you know, I think this fight is, is a builder up, you know, for a much bigger fight down the road. Uh, in September with Marquez and you know the way that Bob Aram will spin this is he'll say well you know Marquez um you know he'll say Marquez you know uh in many people's eyes beat Manny Pacquiao and Manny Pacquiao's you know the best fighter pound for pound and Brandon Rios beat you know one, one of the best pound for pound fighters in Yorkies Gamboa who has a similar style to to uh to Manny Pacquiao they're about the same size yada 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 and he'll draw those comparisons and make this fight juicier, and and, and it'll do very good. It, it, that's actually a fight that I'm uh, that I'm actually looking forward to. So you know, you heard it first from me. You know, you saw my videos. You knew that I gave Bob Aram that the idea of making Reels versus Marquez, uh, Gamboa, um, Gamboa uh, Reels is gonna happen. You know, I see again Reels just you know walking this guy down and destroying him. So, you know, give me your feedback, tell me what you guys think, and stay tuned. I said I was going to make more videos, it's been less than a week, I've done another one. Uh, I'll put out another video as well um, later on today, letting you guys know uh, what's going on in boxing land. Alright, peace out guys.